Hello this is Mark from tradeinformed.com and welcome to this video on how to calculate envelopes or channels in Excel. For the purposes of this video I'm going to use the term envelopes although I know that a lot of market technicians do prefer to use channels. On the screen in front of us we have an example chart showing the price movement. It's, we've got a nice uptrend here and we have a 20 period exponential moving average in the middle and we have offset by 1% on either side of this to above and below we have our envelopes and we can see that the price action is almost wholly contained within these envelopes I'd like to quote from one of my favorite trading instructors who is Dr Alexander Elder and I'd like him to, to use his words to explain why we might use envelopes or channels. How can you tell when a market has reached an undervalued or overvalued level, a zone for buying or selling? Market technicians can use channels to find those levels. A channel or an envelope consists of two lines, one above and one below a moving average. There are two main types of channels, straight envelopes and standard deviation channels also known as Bollinger Bands. Traders of stocks and futures are better off with straight channels or envelopes. They keep a steady distance from a moving average, providing steadier price targets. Draw both lines from a certain percentage above or below the EMA. If you use dual moving average averages, draw channel lines parallel to the longer one. Okay, so that was from Alexander Elder's book, Come Into My Trading Room, and I'd like to move on to now to show how we can calculate these envelopes. So we're going to use three columns in Excel. The first of these is the exponential moving average. The second of these is the upper envelope. And the third is the lower envelope. Now I have shown how to calculate EMAs before but I'm going to go over it again here. To calculate an EMA we use an EMA factor which is dependent on the number of periods of our moving average and the factor that we use is 2 divided by the number of periods plus 1. So there we have the factor for a 20 period exponential moving average. I'm going to go down 20 cells and I'm going to calculate first of all a simple mean average of our closing price over the previous 20 periods. And I'm going to calculate the first of our exponential moving averages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the current close, subtract previous average and then I'm going to multiply this by our factor and I'm going to use the F4 button to make this an absolute reference cell. I'm going to put all this in brackets and then I'm going to add the previous day's average. Again I'm going to put this to four decimal places. I'm going to click on the bottom right hand corner to copy it down to all the cells below. OK, so our first upper envelope, I'm going to specify our offset, which is 1%. And of course, I'm going to use the same for the lower envelope. And so we calculate the upper and lower envelopes by, first of all, taking our exponential moving average. And then the upper envelope, we say this plus our close multiplied by our offset percentage, again F4. Copy that down. And for the lower envelope, I'm going to take the average and I'm going to subtract close multiplied by the offset percentage, F4. Copy that down. And so there we have the how to calculate a envelopes or channel 
using Microsoft Excel. If you are interested in trading using Microsoft Excel and how to backtest trading strategies, I do now have a ebook course available through the Amazon Kindle Bookstore, and there is a link on the screen if you would like more information about this. And for more information about trading and the financial markets, please go to www.tradingformed.com.